Crips is a thief. You've heard it here. We all know the best way to get materials to Crips is to do legendary animals. And from Harriet or from Free Roam, they do pay out quite a lot of materials. All the way up to like 58 plus materials for some of the animals. Well, we've noticed some discrepancies in that on what Crips actually gives you. We did a little bit of testing today. And Crips has taken 20% off the top. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you're going to like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. We're here to talk about Crips and what he's been doing as our liaison for the trader, because he's actually stealing materials. We did a bunch of tests in to figure this out with the posse today, and it's astounding that Crips has taken 20% of the materials that you give him for all legendary items. Now there's one thing that's hard to figure out when you donate materials. Where there's no material bar that actually shows you how much materials you're actually getting into your material bucket there. So I went ahead and I made my own. As you guys can see here, I have an overlay on my recording software that's showing a bar that's given us a little bit of a readout of how many materials we have. Right now in this scenario we have 50 materials in our material bar and you can see it on our graph here this graph works like this it, it's broken down in three sections the top row is broken down by by five materials the next row is broken down by 25 and the second row is broken down by 50. now we can use this to figure out exactly how many materials are actually in a material bar so when we donate legendary animals to crypts we can see exactly how much we're getting back so i did a whole bunch of missions from harriet grabbed some skins from her as well as we went around and found a whole bunch of animals in free roam and did a bunch of testing on this and it all comes down to the same thing crypts has actually taken 20 percent off the top of your materials let's jump into this scenario right now right now we're sitting in a camp and we have 22 goods you can see it's about 22 on our graph right here uh, we're gonna donate a cougar that we got in free roam. It says it's worth 36.88 materials. That's quite a lot, man, 36.88. That should bring us right to about 60 materials, give or take one or so, if we donate that right now. When we donate this though, it actually comes back and you can see on the graph, we're just barely above 50, about at 51. That's only 29 materials that it gave us. That's a difference of 20%. Now that we're at 51 materials now, we're gonna donate a buck. This buck is also worth 36.25 materials. That should theoretically bring us up to about 87, 88 materials, you know, 51 plus 36. That does not happen. When we donate this buck, we're right at 80 materials. So that only gave us 29 materials, not 36. That's a difference of 20%. We tested this like crazy. We did a boar, which is worth 23.75 materials. It only gave us about 19. We did the gator from Harriet. It's worth 40 materials. Only gave us about 33, 34 materials. We did a bison from Harriet worth the most amount, 58 materials. It only gave us about 45. Then we did a Rudy moose worth 44, only got 35. And a milk coyote worth 38 only got about 30. Now, our materials that we get with this graph, you know, it's kind of hard to know exactly what we're getting, but we do know by calculating all this stuff that it's right around 20%. Some of our calculations are right at 20%. Some kind of mosey a little bit closer to 22, 23%, but it might just be our eye looking at this a little bit wrong. So I'm gonna say 20% off the top is what Crips is stealing. So in the long run, we donated a buck, a cougar, a boar, a gator skin, a bison skin, a moose skin, and a coyote tonight. That should have given us about 277, 278 materials. We actually only got about 220 out of that. So what's at fault here? Is Crips actually stealing goods from us or is the game just giving us the wrong amounts when it tells us how much stuff is worth? There definitely is a discrepancy here, just not sure on which end it's on. We did our best and test this with regular animals as well. They look like they work correctly. They're a little harder, you know, because they're worth a lot less. So it's a little harder to get those 
percentages in there. They definitely look like they're working good. I donated a, a buck, which was twelve fifty, a three star buck, and it looks like I got that twelve fifty instead of about uh, nine, which I would have got out twenty uh, percent less. I did donate a whole bunch of other legendary items as well, like the the fangs and the antlers, and those are actually taking a twenty percent hit as well. So definitely keep an eye on your materials when you're donating to crypts. I've noticed this for quite a while, but didn't really know if it was just me. You know, be a nitpicky on my material bar and knowing exactly what stuff is. But I, I know I've been about 50% or so and donated something large like a, a legendary bison pelt, which should probably all the way to 100. And I didn't even get all the way to a full bar. So I knew there was some kind of issue somewhere. But until I created this little overlay for my recording software and I could actually see exactly what was happening, I didn't know exactly that we were losing 20% across the board. With that said, legendaries are still, I think, the best way to fill up crypts. You know, two missions with Harriet and you're pretty full. You are losing a little bit there. Hopefully we can get some tickets in the Rockstar, let them take a look at it. Uh, I've already sent, submitted one tonight when I'm recording this video. Let them know, hey, this is what we found. Hopefully they are looking into it. Either they're going to be uh, fixing what we get from the materials or lowering the price that it shows because one of them is wrong. Hey, Calpoke, I hope this information gets to you and helps you out. If it does, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Line content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. We also stream right here on YouTube Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Wednesday has some good old-fashioned community days. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.